Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube Astrological segment, I'm going to be giving my Libra December 2019 horoscope forecast, part one of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is as far as December goes, the sun will be in Sagittarius from the first until the 22nd. So the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time. There could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on uh, communications, uh, assimilating information, siblings, cousins, neighbors, short journeys, uh, the early education. So it could be people that were prominent in one's early uh, education. And um, anyway, uh, given that it's Sagittarius energy, this may be done with a lot of exuberance, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of ebullience, and a lot of uh, expansive energy uh, as well. Now, in some cases, this could be very strong focus uh, and attention on uh, expanding uh, one's horizons as far as communications go, and even philosophical communications. And, um, and also assimilating information with a lot of exuberance, a lot of enthusiasm, and, and really um, a lot of jocular communications as well. It could be in some excuse me, <clears throat> in some cases, this could shine the light, so to speak, on a Sagittarius cousin, uh, sibling, or neighbor. It could be a Sagittarius sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Sagittarius uh, characteristics. Anyway. Next thing up is, well, as far as uh, December goes, the sun will be in Capricorn from the 22nd until the 31st. So the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy and focus and attention on one's home life, uh, those you're close to home with, the less dominant parent, which is often the mother, family, um, emotional security, the latter part of life, um, that end part of life. Uh, it could also be in some cases about who you are um, at the core. So uh, given that this is, um, you're, you're talking about um, Capricorn energy, uh, this may be done with a lot of a lot of serious energy done with a lot of a, maybe even a lot of premeditation, a lot of planning. It could be a time where you might put a lot of focus on really planning out, you know, something with retirement, because remember that the fourth house is uh, is connected with one's ladder or end part of uh, their life. And uh, in, in some cases, too, uh, this could shine the light, so to speak, on a Capricorn a home or family member. Uh, it could be a Capricorn sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Capricorn characteristics. And also, uh, a lot of, uh, and at the same time, it could be very strong focus at this time on, uh, on simply maybe responsibilities, uh, really being responsible in the home and, and really, um, and, or maybe even on, on some restriction or limitation associated with one's home or family life or their emotional uh, security uh, at this time. So anyway, well, the next thing up is there'll be a full moon in Gemini on December 12th. So the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, you're talking about full moons in astrology. This could manifest in a multitude of ways. I mean, this could be a time where in this particular case, since you're talking about Gemini and the ninth house, this could be about a completion or culmination of some uh, Gemini higher education course. It could be something connected with communications. It could be simply like journalism or reporting, data satellite communication, or something that requires dexterity, something with strong use of the hands, such as auto or refrigeration mechanics, something with computer programming, um, which of course could be connected with communications. Anything that could be Gemini uh, related. It might be a time too, where maybe you might be just simply get tired of uh, spreading yourself too thin, so to speak, in matters with in-laws, with grandchildren, with foreign travel. Um, it could be religious uh, activities. Uh, this could be a time too when you're when you're talking about full moons and astrology. They could also be about unveilings and revelations. This could be a time too 
where this could be about an unveiling or revelation of an overly gossiping, mischievous, vacillating, mercurial, even two-faced in some cases, um, very ambivalent, indecisive in-law grandchild. It could be someone you know at a religious congregation or, con or college university. You might even be tired with yourself at some being maybe overly ambivalent or indecisive or vacillating over some religious matter. It could be choosing a religion or choosing some kind of philosophy or college education um, or what have you, anything ninth house uh, related. Now, it could be a time also uh, looking at this could also be the completion of some kind of writing that you did that could be that is about to be published or something Gemini related that is going to uh, be published. It could be something connected you know, some form. It could be writing about some form of communication such as data or satellite communications or or something um, that requires, you know, you know, writing about uh, doing something with the use of the hands, such as auto refrigeration mechanics, or just something that required a lot of eloquence and a lot of diction that is to be published uh, at this time, or it could be like some kind of variety, you know, a book that's got a lot, manifold different stories, like short stories, because Gemini energy can be about variety. Next thing up. There will be a new moon in Capricorn on December 26th, so the fourth house is what will be emphasized in high. That's also solar eclipse as well. Now, when I talked uh, previously, I mean, as you know, it means uh, I, I see solar eclipses. If you talk about new moon solar eclipses, can be serendipitous. A lot of times, I think they could be about something that seems to be negative initially, but moments it manifesting or, or you know, translating into something that could actually be very positive. In this case, since we're talking about Capricorn energy in the fourth house, in some cases, this could be in um, some cases taking care of uh, maybe a debilitated family member, something because Capricorn can be connected with restrictions. Fourth house is the family and maybe taking care of a debilitated family member or some family member that has some strong restriction, maybe physical could lead to some kind of career, which is Capricorn, something like being a caregiver in a home. And the fourth house, again, is the four, you know, is the home and family. Because as an example, I mean, let's say you're taking care of some home or family member in the home, of course, and somebody debilitated and somebody comes along and sees what you're able to do and inspires maybe a position where you, you where they might say, well, you know, they maybe you can do this as an actual career or a job and it might lead to something actually positive as far as that goes with getting some kind of work as a caregiver. But I'm just putting that out as an isolated example. But in a lot of cases, this could be about you might be welcoming a new Capricorn a family member. Uh, could be, I mean, if it's a new moon solar eclipse, it's biological, then obviously it's going to be, I mean, say if it's going to be a child in some, you know, then if it's your child, you're welcoming, then of course it's going to be a Capricorn sun and moon because it'll be born at this time. And it could be somebody that has obviously very significant impact on your life, given we're talking about a new moon a solar eclipse or it could be some business that you may embark on that you decide to do out of your home and it could be something that could be very sustained very protracted uh, at this time or um, even in anything Capricorn related out of the home it could be something with information technology dentistry again just it could be business uh, in general, anything that could be uh, accounting, anything Capricorn related and might have very sustained even lifelong implications. Solar eclipses can be very significant. They could signify very monumental um, events and it might be a time too where maybe you just finally decide to get some structure and discipline your home life or begin to plan for um, that latter or end part of your life if you're not currently in it and maybe it's something that you're just decide to finally take more seriously and it could maybe reap very strong uh, rewards as far as what you may have at that latter or end part of your life given you're talking about this is a new moon solar eclipse could even signify a new home in some cases, something that you show a lot of responsibility for and something that you might have planned and something that involved a lot of planning and premeditation for uh, some kind. And given it's Capricorn energy, it might be something that's just very conventional, very orthodox, very traditional as far as a home goes. 
Next thing up, well, Mercury will be in Scorpio as far as December goes from the 1st until the 9th. So the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, I mean, this could manifest in a number of ways. This could be about uh, some cases, a lot of incisive, provocative, deep conversations uh, with those you may generate income with. You might be trying to get to the bottom of the mystery regarding a monetary matter, going beyond subterfuge and superficiality, being very probing, investigative, mentally investigative in those matters. Um, it could be a time where at this time you might be... Um, Really, um, as well, I mean, given there's something about Mercury and Scorpio energy in the second house, you might be thinking and contemplating regarding transforming your income at this time in ways that you may make money. And also the communication sometimes of Scorpio type possessions, such as uh, possessions connected with the occult, astrology, supernatural, locksmithing, like having locks, like keys, anything that could be a Scorpio. Uh, related um, at this time and also to keep in mind that Mercury can also be about siblings this could be about Scorpio Sun Moon or ascendant people or simply ones that embody Scorpio characteristics that might figure more prominently in your self-esteem your self-worth your possessions your resources and your monetary situation hold on a moment people sorry about that I'm back Anyway, next thing up, well, Mercury will be in Sagittarius as far as December goes from the 9th until the 29th. So the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, this could be about a lot of expansive, exuberant, philosophical communications with siblings, with cousins, with neighbors. It could be a time, too, where you might find yourself trying to think uh, outside the box, so to speak, um, in terms of maybe your, your neighborhood or maybe your dealings with your neighbors. And also it could be a lot of blunt and very even tactless communications with third house people uh, at this time as well. And you might find yourself... Uh, at this time, I mean, you don't want to be speaking to the point where you might be demoralizing somebody, uh, such as a sibling or a cousin or a neighbor, to the point where you're overly blunt to the point of demeaning them. So just be careful at this time with this Mercury and Sagittarius uh, energy people. Now, um, as far as Libra goes, now another thing too is as I've stated before, this can also I mean Mercury can also be about siblings. This could be about Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Sagittarius traits that might figure more prominently in your dealings with your neighbors, your um, your cousins at this time, your short journeys, uh, assimilating information, maybe people that were prominent in your um, your early education uh, as well. So those are some ways that this could pan out um, at this time and really um, and also about maybe communicating about Sagittarius related things with third house people such as sports, uh, horses, uh, the law, uh, philosophy, religion, higher education, even talking maybe uh, learning different languages or, or speak, trying to maybe talk about things of, of that are about foreigners with third house people at this time. So anyway. Next thing up, well, Mercury will be in Capricorn as far as December goes from the 29th until the 31st. So the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. And a lot of this could be about a lot of communication about planning and, and, a lot, and premeditating, uh, you know, energy, you know, for as far as that latter or end part of your life goes, a lot of premeditative thinking in those matters. And also maybe talking about some Capricorn qualities you may have uh, at the core, such as being very orthodox, consistent, disciplined, structured, uh, serious, anything that could be uh, Capricorn related at this time. And it could also be a time where you might find yourself um, as well, um, really where the thinking might be a little bit intransigent and inflexible regarding fourth house matters, such as where you want to be at the latter end part of your life, the um, communications with the, do the um, less dominant parent, which is often the mother, home, family members, people you're close to home with uh, at this time. And and also, as I've stated before, Mercury can also be about siblings. This could be about Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody 
uh, Capricorn characteristics that might figure more prominently your emotional security, that latter or end part of your life, um, your home, your family life matters with the less dominant parent, uh, people you're close uh, to home with uh, at this time. And given that, I mean, you're talking about, I mean, this could be uh, whether they're more beneficial, more to your detriment. A lot of that can be predicated and dependent on aspects that are made to points in your chart. A sex star trying to natal Jupiter can indicate he might be very auspicious in those matters, but same adverse aspect to natal Saturn might be causing some loss or some sorrow in those matters, especially matters with your emotional security at this time. Last but not least, Venus will be in Capricorn as far as December goes from the 1st until the 20th. So the 4th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, this can manifest a number of ways. If you're unattached at this time, Libra, you may connect with a Capricorn sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies those traits that could figure prominently your emotional security. It could be somebody that you may have for that latter or end part of your life if you're not currently in it. Um, it could be a person that might um, you know, figure more prominently in your home life, more so uh, than most. And it, it could even be an older person you might connect with at this time, a very mature, responsible person that might really figure prominently more so than usual in most cases than um, as far as your home and your family life goes uh, at this time. It could also be a uh, manifest in some cases by putting a lot of value and, and structure and discipline in your home life and responsibilities to uh, family members and, and really about um, valuing Capricorn qualities at the core, such as uh, perhaps being very structured, very disciplined, uh, very consistent, uh, a person that's very serious, very traditional, conventional, and orthodox. So those are some ways that this could pan out. It could also be about the enjoyment of Capricorn related things with home and family members, such as it could even be simple responsibilities or organizing or things with even information technology like computers. It could be something that's connected with business related matters or, or maybe playing some political or business board game, maybe doing crafts or doing something that is connected with structure of putting things, putting like, you know, those little die casts, those little uh, model cars together, even just some kind of hobby like that. Anything that could be a uh, Capricorn uh, related at this time. So anyway, people, uh, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Libra December 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two. And until next time, people, Edwin Learn saying stay well.